What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at botcheck.me, a really useful tool and it's free to verify if anyone you're following is a bot on Twitter. So stay tuned. <laughs> So if you've been uh, watching, reading, or following uh, the news lately, you would have seen something about that the Russians were actually behind some of the social media ads that were derisive in nature that pitted one side against the other, the right or the left, in, in the political sense. And uh, it worked very effectively. So the Intelligence Committee released some of the ads that were in there, and you can find out more about all of these ads that uh, were surprisingly looked real to me and uh what they do is they just sponsor that post they make it an ad on facebook and twitter and it's seen by thousands hundreds of thousands millions of people and to great effect so to read more about that story go to uh, the new york times i'll post a link in the description below but with this uh new evidence coming to light uh, a couple of guys uh, from Robot Labs created something called the Bot Check Me. And the Bot Check does exactly that. It detects and tracks Twitter propaganda because Twitter allows bots. And so it's easier for them to kind of control or determine whether it is a bot or not. And they've set up this algorithm with specific things and suspicious behavior behind it that it will detect whether or not that that tweet or Twitter person is actually a bot and to stay away from that particular person or bot in this case. So if you go over to Bot Check Me, you can actually type in uh, any person and to see if they are a bot. Now, thankfully, I am not a bot. Also, when you come over to this website, you'll actually have to log in to Twitter because as always, anything using the Twitter API, you have to actually verify that you are a Twitter user. So I'm gonna dismiss that. The other thing you'll see on their website is that they have the common, most common hashtags used in the last 24 hours, a simple random sample. And you'll have those uh, hashtags over here on the left side. And they'll have the top tweeted people using those hashtags over on the right side. They've also created a Chrome extension that you can find over in the Chrome web store and it's called botcheck.me and it talks about what it is and how it works and all that stuff. And there's been some reviews and it looks like it's pretty positive that there's actually working to find these bots. Now you might get some false positives, but on the whole, I think it's doing a pretty good job of finding the actual bots. So as always with the Chrome extensions, you install it and it's actually gonna capture some of your Twitter data. It needs that in order to use that data to not only uh, determine if it's a bot, but it also feeds their algorithm. Uh, all of that data goes into their algorithm to make it a more useful tool. So let's go over to Twitter and see how this works. All right, so I am over on Twitter now and uh, you'll notice a uh, bright blue uh, circular button that says botcheck.me. You click that button and it will push that information over to their algorithm to verify if it is indeed a bot. Now I haven't come across any bots, but let me just pick somebody at random here. People I don't even know. <laughs> ah, there we go. Maybe something like that. Okay, propaganda bot like patterns not found. So that's little how that's how quickly it runs, and it does not exhibit any patterns conducive to propaganda bots. Now you have three options here. You can actually disagree. I'm not sure what happens if you click disagree. I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, do false positives to the algorithm, and you can actually share that this person is not a propaganda bot or you can dismiss it so I will dismiss it let me just do one more got the Russian foreign ministry I doubt that they're gonna be a, a bot I'm thinking about Russia so I thought well let's see hmm. let me go over to this nope nope patterns not found 
I thought so. So that's how you use botcheck.me. Again, produced by a couple of students. I forget what university they are. If you know, you can post in the comments below. Uh, I'll also put some links in the description where you can follow the story about uh, this news that's been breaking around these political bots and how they've influenced the uh, political agenda uh, over the last year or so. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here to the channel, be sure you subscribe so you get notified when a new video goes up on YouTube. And for more about me, you can go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.